Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? We're going to play the jungle maps. Welcome to my jungle, you evil little balloons. We're going to take a supply drop. We're going to go kacha, and then I think with the jungle things, you can use farms and stuff if you so desire. Yes, you can. You just can't use wizards, which, pff, who cares about that? And ice towers, yeah, I mean, that hel hel doesn't really help us out, but shouldn't be the end of the world. I think we can get sun gods and stuff up uh, for late game action. Excuse me, for late game action. So how do I want to start this one off? Well... I think I know what I'm going to do in the mid-game. I'm definitely going to use some Ring of Fires, because this is like a perfect spot for a Ring of Fire. If not, over here as well, you can use one. Actually, this might even be a better spot for a Ring of Fire. It doesn't look like it, but it actually is a really, really solid spot for a Ring of Fire. If you put one right here, you're going to get attack damage from here all the way down to all the way over there. That's a pretty big chunk of damage. But if you put it here, yeah, you've got the nice loop-de-loop -loop here from there to there, but that's actually... I don't know, it's about the same, you know, right? And then this is the later in the map, so we're definitely going to have to think about doing that for later on. But for right now, I'm going to get a double farm get a spike factory and I'll use my dart monkey to start probably get a 0-3 dart monkey or something I got the supply drop so that'll help me out quite a bit get that up get the 0-3 uh, dart monkey up I don't think I have to worry too much about lead balloons in the early game at least I hope so hoping that this guy's also a decent amount of balloon popping power I'm not really sure if it's going to be I mean right now no it's definitely not good at all I mean it's letting red balloons leak through it's kind of just kind of in like a, a weird spot. It's not shooting the, the straight lines like it normally does. It's more of just a grouped popping power to help out versus, you know, big groups of balloons and just kind of take them down just a little bit. That was kind of like the main thing with that. So we are able to take this first level down, but not by, uh, by the skin of our teethy teeth teeth. So actually, I'm thinking I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with the flow on this one. I'm going to go with the zero three or a three zero tax here. I'm going to get that third tier eight is it 8-sided? No, it's 16-sided tax shooter. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, yes, yes indeed. So now you can tell we can take down a little bit of... I think that Dar Monkey was actually probably a bad idea. But the tax shooter, on the other hand... Oh man, he's demolishing these balloons. Doesn't really look like it, but he's taking down a lot of layers off these guys. A lot of layers. And even though a lot of them are sneaking through because he's not perfect, I'm still not too upset with that as a tax shooter. I might, I'm even going to go for the third tier. Look at that. Let's let's see how good this guy does. Oh my. Oh my. How is he going to do? Fan freaking fantastic. Look at that 3 zero texture to go. I might even get the range pretty darn soon. But for right now, I don't even think I need to do that. I think I need to get some pop and power now. I mean, this guy's a start, but he's definitely not something I want to continue on using for the rest of the game. So I'm thinking a Moab Mauler might be my first way to start. Or do you guys know it? I love it. Let's use a ninja. Yeah, starting to leak through now. Starting to leak through. Let's use the ninja. Let's use the little ninja buddy. Come on, ninja, you can do it. You can do it. Now, this is the one time that I actually haven't put a lot of my towers all in, like, the exact same range. So we got some lead balloons trying to sneak on through here. I think I might also get a, uh, a little bit of lead popping power. Maybe a cannon up here to get him up to Moab Mauler pretty darn soon. Just get him started, you know. We just need some lead popping power. You don't need crazy amounts. And I really don't think camel leads are going to come. And if we do see some, we'll just use the pineapples. All right, so here's the lead. Here's the lead popping power. We're going to keep him on strong for right now. Not something you always do with the cannons, but for right now, hey, that's the best way to do it. Keep him on strong. I am a little bit worried about some ceramics trying to come on through. Uh, some ceramics or even an early Moab. You know, this level is a possible Moab level. We might have to use quite a bit of road spikes if that does happen. Also, I'm going to keep this guy on strong now instead of first if the Moabs do end up coming. But now that we've got a 3-2 little ninja over here, we well, should be fine versus most things. And there's some lead balloons, big chunk of lead balloons, but the lead, but the uh, lead popping power did an amazing job, amazing job, and we took them all down, took them all down, down, down to Channel Town. So what else am I gonna get? Um, well, a couple ways I can go about doing this, but honestly, my best bet is probably just this, uh, this guy right here before it gets too bad. Before we cause too many problems in here, I'm going to get that fourth tier ninja. And we are still keeping it no lives lost. Delicious, my friends. Just plain delicious. Also, why not? Let's get some Moab popping power up in here. Let's get the Moab mauler going. Because this ninja, I mean, even though he's like kind of in the front here where he can attack the Moabs a little bit, it's not going to be enough. No way. So I need just $50 for... Yeah, yeah, gosh, Moab mauler. And we're going to get the frag cannons all the way up. Boom, shakalaka. We got the Moab mauler with frag cannons. He's going to take down any Moabs. Already level 9, though. A little bit late for the Moabs, usually. A little bit late. It's okay, though. I mean, I, I don't mind. I don't mind late Moabs. And there it is. There's the Moab, but the 4-2 Ninja is going to handle them fairly well. And also, on top of that, I'm going to get a lot of Bloom Poppin' Power right here. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to get a ton of Bloom Poppin' Power with the Ring of Fire. 
and get the range increases for him. So this is probably the first, one of the first times that I've ever spread out my defense so much. I mean, I almost always chunk it up in, a, in the middle spot or somewhere. I like, think that like this is the best spot for it, so I usually go with something like that. But not today. I don't really know why I'm doing that. I just, I just kind of am. So I have a little bit of extra money here. I'm going to indeed buy my farms back that I sold earlier to get that uh, ninja because I just saw too many balloons going through. And you know what? Sometimes it's worth it just to get that and get the extra balloon stones and stuff at the end of the game. As you can tell, the Ring of Fire is doing an amazing job of cleaning up most of the balloons, but you have to get rid of that ceramic layer, or it's not that the Ring of Fire is useless. It just doesn't do a very good job at all because you only get one attack damage per shot against the ceramic and it has like 10 layers so technically you have to shoot the ring of fire 10 times before you even kill the ceramic layer whereas you could pop in 10 shots you could pop the rainbows down to what nothing rainbow zebra black and blacks yeah eight shots to take it down to nothing i think could have miscounted that just a little bit that's all right so now i have a little bit of extra money what am i gonna do with it all well i guess you know what we'll get at least one more farm and then i'm actually gonna go with a second ring of fire believe it or not I was telling you guys that I really like this spot over here for the Ring of Fire. In fact, even if I can get a monkey village up in there, I'd really love to do that. Really love to do that. And also, I can build most of my Moab Maulers, actually, like, right in this little zone right there. <clears throat> right in that little zone right there. Just trying to mix it up a little bit. You know, I do still I do still need a lot more Moab Popping Power than what I have right now. Uh, we definitely can't take down BFBs or anything like that, that's for sure. But if I get enough balloon popping power where I don't even have to worry about ceramics or anything, that makes me pretty happy. That does make me pretty darn happy. So we got the range increases, and now balloons are not going to be a big problem at all for us. Instead, unless some like crazy regrow rushes happen. I, I don't think that's going to happen, but hey, you really never know. Even regrow zebras, I think we could handle them all. I think regrow ceramics, like gigantic regrow ceramic rushes, are the only thing that could possibly ever even remotely get through. There we go, we get another Moab Mauler, and now Moabs are going to be no problem at all. BFBs might be chill, we'll have to see what happens with the BFBs, those big bad BFBs that we don't have to deal with at all. Oh man. So honestly, I feel like BFBs and Moabs, honestly, all you have to do is just like poke a pinhole in it and it would explode, right? Explode balloons everywhere. I mean, oh man, this is a BFB, this, I don't even know why the heck I wouldn't even notice that was a BFB. See, how does this Ring of Fire do? Well, that Ring of Fire didn't do very well. How's this Ring of Fire doing? Uh, eh, not as good as I thought, but I think it was mainly because the ceramic layers didn't get popped by the time it got to this Ring of Fire, which led that that Ring of Fire to not really do as much balloon popping power as he probably should have. So I will continue on with another Ring of Fire. I know this sounds very, very weird and just seems odd that I'm doing this, but I feel like it's kind of a good idea, especially if I get the ranges, ranges and stuff like that. Let's see how, let's see what happens. Also, I think, as interestingly crazy as this might sound, I know I never do this, ever, 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 ever do this. We're gonna get a Blade Malsham in the back here. That's for the, oh my goodness gracious, holy crap, that's gigantic rush part of the game. Because it does happen quite often. When you're like, oh my god, the balloons are leaking all the way down to the back here. And then you have nothing left, like this right here. No, and no, I think the two Ring of Fires are gonna handle it. But just to be safe... No, we don't need it. We don't need it at all. We don't need it at all. We'll get the jungle drums, shoot everything faster. I really wish that the monkey fort worked in a little bit different way for the Ring of Fires. It would be just plain delicious if... Because you know how it says... It's, it's kind of confusing how it works. It, it increases the popping power of all towers by one. Just imagine if, like, the Ring of Fire popped two layers per shot instead of just one. Can you guys imagine that? That's the way they, they uh, made it in battles a little while ago. If you guys remember that or not, I'm not sure, but it was only there for like a couple days, maybe a week tops, and then they were just like, we gotta get rid of this thing, it's just way too freaking good, which it absolutely was, it was just way too crazy good. And when I say crazy good, I really do mean it, I mean crazy good, oh my god, my Moab Maulers are not on strong again. You guys really point this out in almost every single one of my videos. <laughs> it's true though, I should put them on strong, why don't I? Just distractions. I get distracted and I just don't worry about it too much, and then usually that's what happens. So I don't even need the Blade Maelstrom there. Whoa, man, we took down ceramic layers like Cray. So, what am I going to do with this big chunk of money that I got? This $9,000, $10,000. We're getting money like crazy right now. It's going to change very soon, though. It's not going to be that big chunk of money anymore. It's going to change to that uh, really, really low amount per balloon pop. 
Very soon. I know it always happens. I think it happens during the middle of levels sometimes, too. I don't really know exactly when or why it happens. I would definitely be interested in seeing why or how it happens. I just know that it happens. So we're going to use a Super Monkey. We're going to get to Plasma. Plasma Super Monkey. Keep him on strong for now. I think I'm going to go for a Sun God. Why not? Why not a Sun God? He's a nice little bit of balloon popping power for me. And actually, I don't even know. Do I even need him? I'll just stick with a Roboplasma. That's pretty darn nice. Pretty darn nice tower for me, especially versus those Zoma Gods and stuff. That's why I'm keeping him on strong. And I feel like my balloon popping power, surprisingly, is probably good enough. Also, we got glue gunners. Let's use the glue gunners, guys. We're gonna use them up. Boop, 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 boop. Just bloop. We just bloop them all over the place, and now we got destruction all everywhere. This glue gunner is pure destruction. How many pops does he have? Zero. Don't matter. Don't matter at all. Um. So this game's really easy so far, or at least this this one. This entire level just has seemed easy. This entire map. Just fairly easy so far. What do you guys think? I don't know. I haven't noticed any problems at all. I really haven't. So, what can I get? Well, can I get high level t spike factories yet? I don't really remember. Let's see. One, two, three. I cannot get the fourth tier. Spike factories yet. That's okay. It's okay. We'll get them eventually. I just need to get some more monies up. So I'm kind of expecting some Zoma Gods pretty soon. What else could I get for Zoma God Bobum Power? How about... Oh, there's Zoma God. There he is. What do I want to get? I kind of want to get another Robo Monkey or something. I think I'm actually going to stick with some ninjas. Why the heck not? Keep him on strong. It's a pretty decent amount of Zoma God popping power. And then once we got these guys glued and stuff... Eh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ring of Fire surprisingly didn't do as much damage as I thought. Um... Or maybe it just didn't seem like it. What they did a lot of damage because there were so many balloons there. But like, they all got destroyed over here for some reason. Maybe it was the cannons. Maybe it was the ninja robo combo. Not really sure. But the ring of fires didn't look like they did very much. But that doesn't mean we're gonna stop using ring of fires. We're gonna keep on flowing with these guys. We got a bunch of bunch of these little mofos over here. I don't think that's a. Yep, that's the last one I could build. Oh, well, so sad. I must say though that that is one of the best things that I could have done in some of my previous videos is if I ever have a huge problem where balloons are going to leak on through you know what I should have gotten I should have got the blade maelstrom should have gotten it I also I think they should change the name to blade maelstrom 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 I don't even know what maelstrom really is I guess when, it sounds German German or at least European it sounds that way I really don't know what the heck it is is it even, it could be English for all I know could be English, but it probably is English. I we're New Zealandish. They are from New Zealand. That's New Zealandish. Uh, maybe they got their own dialect there, their own English dialect. Even though that sounds a little, a little bit frisky and weird. All right, you know we're already on this last upcoming level, so we're gonna get another little ninja buddy over here. We're gonna get two of these little ninjas. I'm actually gonna get one of them up to. Oh, I can't get him up to the left-sided fourth tier. Oh, I was going to get that guy up and just use the ability really quick as soon as I saw his oh my god or something and just demolish him before he gets even further than my glue gunner, probably. Probably would have happened. Probably could even happen maybe with uh, the current technology that I have. Maybe. Let's see. I'm really hoping that I can pop this oh my god before he gets past the glue gunner. Let's see if it can happen. Oh, man, there's two oh my gods, though. Kind of a problem because my mobile models are going to keep shooting the stronger one. So I don't think it's going to happen this time. But let's see. No way. It's definitely not going to happen. Oh my god. No way. But the Ring of Fires are definitely doing a good job over there. Oh yeah. Look at that. Demolishing those balloons. Maybe this one. Maybe. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. Does it make me upset? No. I really don't care that much. But I just thought I was going to do a better job. That's pretty much the way I thought about it. But level 30 has been demolished. Yes, my friends. Yes, indeed. So a great job, you captured a jungle tile. All right, let's move on in here. We got a DDT jungle tile. Ooh, on this level. We're going to use a splat drop. I get splat drops, why the heck not use splat drops? Um, We're going to start off with the spike factory. I need to get a farm in here, I think. I'll use the farm over here. 
could use it right here, actually. I could probably get three across, can't I? If I do decide to go for farms later on, maybe I can get one of those guys. Also, I think my best bet for this level is definitely a ninja. You really just can't go wrong with a ninja on this level. And as far as where I'm going to put it, I'll put it right here. This does leave my... My, uh... Well, I guess it's not that bad, because, you know, he's going to be shooting mostly over here for this side, and then mostly over there for that side. So we get an extra little farm, little farm money in here. Actually, you know what? Let's go for our second farm. I didn't even realize I didn't even upgrade my ninja a little that high. All right, let's keep upgrading the ninja now. I do have to worry a lot about lead balloons on this level, because lead balloons can come from different ways, and using the uh, pineapples on them can be very, very difficult, to say the least. Also, my spike factory is going to be not as great as it normally is, because it's shooting on both sides this time which definitely does not help us out. Cha-cha! I used one more set of road spikes, and that ninja shuriken just got all the way down there, which was kind of ridiculous. Okay, keep upgrading the ninja. I'm pretty darn sure, pretty darn sure, though, guys, that we're going to have to sell some farms later on. Doesn't matter, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lots of pineapples are going to be needed here, my friends. Lots of pineapples are going to be needed. So we're going to use a pineapple here. Three, two, one, boo! Three, two, one, boo! Three, two, one, boo! And three, two, one, boo! There we go, we're down to uh, one, one pineapple left. Okay, whatever, lives, lives are lost. It happens. What am I gonna do about the lead balloons? I need to get a mortar. I need to get a mortar for sure. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to hit all those little guys. I mean, a cannon could work. I have to get a 3-0 cannon. I guess we'll get a 3-0 cannon. Lots of balloons still. I just gotta say, screw the lives, man. They're gonna have to go on through. I can't afford the road spikes. Can't afford them. And uh, these farms are definitely chugging up some money for me in the early game. It's just sad that I gotta go all the way up to a 3-0 cannon on such an early level. And I used the supply drop, too, so that's not good at all. Because if I fail on this one, I don't get another supply drop. And here it is. We got a 3-0 cannon. Now that's gonna help out a lot versus these balloons. A lot, a lot, a lot. But I still need a lot of Moab popping power, and I just don't have anything at the moment. See, look at that. I'm glad we got that cannon, because that's exactly what the big problem is right now. Let's get this third tier up. Boom, shakalaka. Get Inspector Pops up in here. He's still doing a decent job. Look at that spike factory. Look at him go. Look at him go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Can't stop this. Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. It's kind of a good song. I think it's by Sticks, right? I think so. Do you guys ever hear that song? Where it's like, can't stop me now. I don't really know how the song goes. I just I don't hear it that often either. I just I know it's a good song. See, as you can tell, you can definitely tell more balloons are leaking through on the right side here, which was definitely what I was worried about in the beginning, but I thought it was going to be okay, but I decided, you know what, I was just like, eh, you know what, it'll be all right. But it's really not all right, because I'm losing lots of lives because of it. I figured that most the ninja would mostly attack this side first and then start attacking this side over here after they like start leaking through, but what really happened Oh my god. Come on, little ninja, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. Just oh no, we don't have distraction! Oh snap! Oh snapper doodle! We didn't have distraction! Now oh oh distract them. Oh look at the little spike factory! Look at him! Come on, give me some more money. Yes, 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 my friends. We have done it, but we are going to need some more Moab Pop and Power, like, right now. Like, like, right, 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 right now. Um, I can't even get the, uh... <sighs> I can't even get the, uh, upgrade on the left side there. Just gotta stick with what I got, what I know is... And look at that, we did a good job that time. I had to use five sets per level of Moab. Five sets per Moab. And that's a lot, of, that's a lot, because what if double Moabs come? Then it's like, oh, I gotta use 15 sets, because five's not gonna do it anymore. Gotta use more. No, my math wasn't terrible there. It's just the fact that there's more Moabs, there's gonna be more balloons, you gotta pop them sooner. So we're gonna do a quick, uh... One, two, three, four, five. We used five of them there. Should be good enough. This guy's also on strong now. This is what he should have been on for a little bit longer. Distract them. Distract them. Please, little ninja buddy. Please, little ninja. Oh, good enough job. Good enough job. Oh, Moab Muller. Oh, just a little too late. He's not even going to get one shot on him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can use seven on him this time. We're almost down on road spikes, and that's a lot of money that we're wasting also. A lot, a lot of money. But that time, he distracted them perfection-like. 
Perfection. Like, and now we can afford the frag cannons. Oh, yeah, now I'm feeling alright about this one. Not good, but I'm feeling alright about it. So, I got a farm left. Maybe I'll even get one more farm after that. Because I feel like. <sighs> Why is he on first? What am I doing here? Oh, really? Double Moabs? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna wait a little while on this one. Wait a little while. Let let the let the balloons do their thing. And then one, two, three, four. Okay. Boom, shaka laka. And we're distract them, distract them, please distract them, please distract them. And we distracted most of them, we distracted enough of them. Alright. Can't get another farm, can I? So my biggest question is, is are the balloons the bigger issue? Or is the Moabs the bigger issue? And I think, honestly, the Moabs are probably the bigger issue right now. I can almost afford a second Moab Mauler. They're just very, very expensive. You don't think about them being expensive. You're like, oh, it's only a $900 upgrade. But you also got to buy the two $400 upgrades in between that. And you also have to buy the cannon itself, which is a big chunk of money. So we got t three Moabs coming in here. And Bloons are definitely going to be a big problem for me right now. I'm going to try and get rid of this, this one really quick. I don't have any road spike money right now. Come on, little ninja. This is all up to you, my friend. This is all up to you all up to you and it's not enough is it it's not enough spam the road spikes let's see this is like the last bit of road spikes that i got the last bit of road spikes that i have no we're gonna have to do it again what could i change up what could i possibly change up pineapples cannon really didn't help out that much i must say that Um, okay, we definitely need a spike factory. That's that's a for sure thing. I'm only going to get one one zero farm. I'm going to get the ninja, of course. I'm going to put him in... I kind of got to put him here. There's like no other good way to put him anywhere. Ah, uh, it's alright. We'll have to make that do. I need some lead popping power. So let's. what do we want to use for lead popping power? We got no wizards. So that's definitely not, not going to work. Glue gunners are checkmarked, but they're still not even that good versus leads. So I think i got to go with the cannon again, except I'm going to put it here this time. I'll put it here, and I'm not even going to upgrade it to 3-0 yet. I'm going to get a full-out ninja. Just go straight out and ninja, 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 ninja. And that's probably my best bet. I'm just going to keep having to go with that ninja. And eventually, I think my best bet, honestly, is probably some sort of mortar. Because I don't think I would have lost those big chunks of ceramics if I got a mortar up a little bit earlier. Lives don't matter, guys. Lives don't matter, because we know we're not going to get uh, no lives lost on this one. We, we know it. Because if we can't even beat it, we're not going to get no lives lost. It's not even worth it trying to build the road spikes. Just save your money. Not worth it. Because you know what? How much money is it for a road spike? It's $30 for a set of road spikes. You only get $10 back. Or actually, you only get $11 back. Which is kind of surprising, actually, because the road spikes are actually 11 instead of 10 Kind of weird, I know. Got them on close. Hopefully, that'll be all the lead popping power that I need. I'm um, going to be a lot of balloons trying to leak on through, especially on the bottom side here. But what are we going to do? You know, we got to lose those lives. We got a big, pretty decent chunk of them over there. All right, keep upgrading the ninja. I think the biggest problem is the leads are getting popped a little bit too late. I don't know, maybe maybe the cannon spot was okay over here, but then I can't upgrade it very well. Can't upgrade it to a 3-0. It wouldn't be in a good enough spot, at least in my opinion. Oh my goodness gracious, the ninja's doing a terrible job. Terrible, terrible job. He just doesn't have enough popping power right now. Oh my. I mean, technically, we only lost 60 lives, which really isn't that bad if we got a good early game going for us. We do have definitely a very good early game going for us. That's good. That's the good news. Oh, if I can get that fourth here, that would make me so happy, guys. So unbelievably happy. Hopefully, we can make it happen. More lead balloons, which is not good for us. Lots of lead balloons equals pure death. Pure death for our ninja, especially, especially for this side right here, because the ninja can't even shoot over there after the lead balloons pop. Yeah, look at that. We're going to lose some more lives. A lot more, actually. About 30, maybe. Maybe even 40. Maybe even 50. Maybe even 60. <sighs> yeah, we lost about 50-something lives there, didn't we? All right, we're almost up to that fourth tier, though. That's pretty darn solid. And I still got that farm to sell. I just really don't want to sell it. I'm going to wait till the very last second on that selling. Very, very last second, second, second. More leads. Come on. Mm, that's not good for us at all. I still need a hundred bucks to get this Fortune Ninja up. Come on. I need it, guys. I need a hundred dollars. Please just give me a hundred dollars. I don't think I can survive this. And if a lead balloon leaks through, I gotta start pineappling and crap. That's no good at all. Okay, let come on, come on. We're gonna have to use a couple sets of rose bugs. I'm gonna use two sets. That was like what I needed to do. And boom, we are gonna be set, guys. We're gonna be absolutely set. Oh man, I got the little loading signal. I thought my thing was gonna freeze. That's not good. 
Never good to see that. All right, so we're going to need some Moab popping power again. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. We oh, we never used the free dart monkey. I should have used that guy sooner. Oh, my. One, two, three, four, five. I also get the distraction up. Don't forget about the distraction, because that caused me to lose a lot of money last time. <sighs> that entire ceramic's going to leak through, isn't it? Why is it lagging so much? Used five sets. Six sets. Used to use six sets there. All right, so I'm going to need that Moab. Mala. Put him right there. We're going to go one, two... And still a big chunk of money away from him. And if he's more sets. You know, I've only used 12 sets this time. La last time, I think about around this time, I probably used about 25 or 30. I used a lot more than what I had this time. So we're going to actually uh, use the five sets again. Keep this guy on strong. I don't really know if it's even going to help. Hopefully it doesn't leak through like it did last time. We don't we need zero. What the heck? He's shooting the wrong side, man. He's shooting the wrong side. Makes me angry. One, two, and three. And four. Almost got the Moab Mauler. Boom! Yeah, man! Still not game over, but definitely a lot better game than we had last time. I still need a lot more balloon popping power. I need a lot more everything, really. Is this guy on first? So help me God, why isn't he unstrong? A little bit better chance of taking these guys down now, though. Because he's on. It's coming on the left side instead of the right side. Which the left side is definitely better for me. Um... So let's get that mortar up. I'm hoping for that Bernie stuff pretty darn soon. You can tell I'm trying to save my road spikes now. I'm letting some lives go. Let the ro let the spike factory do his job, you know? You know what I mean, though? You know what I mean? I'm going to need a little bit more upgrades for this stuff as well. Also, keep in mind, I do have my farm, which this is probably the most dangerous part of the game. So if I see something really, really bad, like like uh, lots of Boabs like this, um, I use a lot of road spikes on this guy, so he'll get through there first. And then we can get the other Moab kind of time irrelevant compared to this one like it doesn't like a moab doesn't even exist because this one took so long to get there distract 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 that was good enough distraction for me good enough distraction for me and we are gonna lose a lot of lives oh no holy crap holy but jesus man this game is just getting more and more ridiculous every single second still need a big chunk of money for that second moab mauler which is definitely gonna be a huge help to us Oh my, that mortar is definitely going to be it. You know what, I'm going to move the mortar up to right here. Maybe that Bernie stuff will help him uh, pop a lot more balloons, you know, let the... <gasps> yeah. We're going to have to move him over here. We're going to have to road spike the... Oh crap, that was a pineapple. Why the heck did I use pineapples? All right, come on, little mortar buddy. Little mortar buddy, it's all up to you. No, it's up to the ninja. The ninja is amazing right now. Go, ninja, go. Look at that ninja go. Oh my goodness gracious, that was just epic. I can't believe that little ninja buddy did that. He distracted them basically perfectly. Basically perfectly. And we're going to take them all down. Sweet titties, man. Sweet titties. That was the most delicious titty action I've seen in a while. All right, so what are we going to do next? Ooh, ooh. You know what I just thought about? An amazing idea right here. I am indeed. I'm going to do it. Go for the ring of fire. I see a lot of Moabs, I'm going to have to pop out and do something a little bit different. But the Ring of Fire is definitely going to be a huge help if I can get rid of that ceramic layer. So we got more of these guys coming in here. I'm going to have to mortar the crap out of these guys. Um, Uh-oh, this is not going to be good, guys. This is not going to be good. Got all these Moabs meeting up in the middle here. All these Moabs meeting up in the middle. Meeting up in the middle here. Come on, come on, Bernie stuff, go! Go, Bernie stuff, go! Tons of bloods! Tons of bloods everywhere! No! Come on, little mortar, you're my friend, you're my friend today. Please, little buddy, please, little buddy, you can do it! No, 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 I don't even know what the heck just happened, guys. I really don't. I am ab absolutely stupendified right now. Stupendified? I don't think it's a word, but we're making it a word today. Stupefied? I think stupefied is the word. Stupendified. Holy crap, I don't think we're going to survive this one, though. We're definitely not going to survive this one. Oh, no, man. We're definitely going to lose on this one. we got 32 sets of road spikes still to go. Come on, little mortar buddy. It's up to you again. Oh, with the mortar and the ring of fire. But we got these guys all over the place. And there's ninjas. And st oh, my God. We're down to 20 sets of road spikes. We lost. We lost. We lost, guys. 
There's no way. There's no way. Yep, we lost. Oh, so close. I thought I had it. I'm going to try one more time. And if I can't beat it, we're going to have to wait. Wait on it a little while. Maybe get some... Uh, get some different game action in here. I might have to, you know, forfeit some more lives in the early game. Maybe that's my best bet. Go for two of these guys. We're going to go for one of these guys. I need some lead balloon popping power. What the heck am I going to use? I could maybe use a ninja, but that's not even worth it, is it? Um. Also, ice towers would be just awesome to have. What the heck am I going to do, guys? What the heck am I going to do? I'll start off with a ninja. I don't think any lead balloons come on level 1. I think they come on level 2. So let's get the ninja over. Put him right here this time. A little bit closer to the top compared to last time. I definitely have to get a pretty darn high level ninja as well. I'm at least going to get this upgrade here before it, gets, it turns into a poop fest. Definitely got to get at least that upgrade. And look at this. Spike Factor can't even handle these balloons on level 1. Oh my god, we're going to lose tons of lives already. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. Oh, we only lost 8 lives. I guess it's really not that bad. I also need to, I need to get these upgrades for the farms. Otherwise, it's not like they're worthless, but pretty darn close to it. Pretty darn close to it. So I'm going a little crazier with my farm economy in the, mid, in the early game here. Um, you know, oh, lead balloons. Do I have to use the pineapples then? Boom! We got all four with one shot, man. One shot. Let's see if we can do it again. Three, two, one. Oh, we got two of them at least. All right. I mean, we got to deal with it. Whatever lives we lose, we lose. Chit, 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 chit. Three lives. Three lives on that last little level there. All right. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna get the. Uh... Well, lead balloons come like crazy, so I need to get something up, man. I need to get the cannon. I think I need to get the cannon up. That'll also help versus the balloons as well, especially the group balloons. So we're going to go like this. We're going to get the cannon right here. We're going to keep him on close. And actually, a big darn, big, pretty big chunk of, chunk of damage over there. But still, the ninja is just not freaking good enough, man. He's just not doing anything. He's just bringing at least crazy lives over here. Crazy lives. And he keeps attacking these guys instead of those guys, which is making me lose even more lives. And I have to use road spikes because I'm stupid and I'm scared of everything. And we're losing more lives. Oh, my God. Is it even worth it? I don't even know if these funky, stupid farms are worth it anymore, guys. Because level 6, I think level 7 above comes. Maybe level 6? It's an early Moab, I can tell you guys that much. Anyways, oh yeah, look at that. We finally got double the damage that we've got before. And we're going to have to double it again with the $850. So I think it's definitely going to be a huge, mungus difference once we get that double shot up. My, oh my. Look at that, we were able to defend him. Wow, wowzers. Yeah, yeah, whoop, whoop. yeah more folks. Keep on going. More lead blues. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Snap, snoop, snap a -rop. Come on. Come on, yeah. Yeah! Doing okay? Doing different and not very good? Doing good? I don't know. Kind of bad? Not as good as I want to do, obviously. But definitely not terrible. Use uh, two sets more. And that's going to be uh, good enough for me. Use a, use a few, few more lives. I'm stupendified right now. I feel like I haven't really used that many sets of road spikes for the amount of uh, farming that I did. Which, honestly, it probably only gave me about $500 altogether. These two farms probably only gave me maybe a little bit more than that. Now that I see so many lead balloons, it depends what comes after the lead balloons. But if I see lots of rainbows or something, I'll sell a farm and get that fourth tier ninja. Otherwise, I'm going to try and wait it out a little while. I think the Moab comes out on the next level as well. So indeed, I am trying to wait it out for a little bit. You know, we're going to need to use maybe a couple sets of road spikes over here. I really don't want to, but I kind of have to. Three, four, and five. We're going to use that many, and I think that's all I can really do. I just have to wait it out now. If I lose some lives, I lose some lives. Why do I come up with these arbitrary numbers of, like, how many lives I'm allowed to lose on each level? I really don't know. I just kind of do. It just makes me feel like I, I'm, I'm in charge, you know? Got to be in charge every once in a while. So we do have the fourth tier ninja. We're going to have a Moab coming out on this next level here. So we definitely need something else to bop this guy. Um, definitely need to get the distraction up. Definitely need to get the distraction up. And... It is on the bad spots. We need to spam the road spikes. As many as I could possibly afford, guys. As many as I could possibly afford. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This isn't good again. This isn't good at all. Oh. Huh. 
wish I had a little bit more money in the beginning there. I would have rather used the road spikes than the Moab compared to the after, the aftermath of it. But I suppose it is what it is. Should I use the Dartling gun? No, I don't think a Dartling gun's worth it. I don't think this guy's worth it either, I think. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I didn't even want to do that. Whoops. I gotta save up for that Moab Mauler. You know what? There we go. We got him up. Get a couple shots on him. Three shots, maybe? Yeah, at least three shots. That didn't do very much damage at all, though, did it? I used three sets of road spikes on him. I hope that's enough. It's on the good part of the map. You know, I want the Moabs to come out on the left side of the map instead of the right side of the map. That allows my ninja to do more damage to them. And he did distract them all, so fantastic. That's absolutely what you want to see. Have him distract every single ceramic balloon as soon as it comes out. Now, beyond that, I'm going to get another Moab Mauler up here. Now, why do I put them up here and here? Why not put them all in the same spot? Well, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm chaining this up a little bit. I noticed that last time the Moab was kind of chasing balloons and would hit, like, right up here. But if I keep attacking the strong balloons, I'm hoping that he shoots all the way through here and actually gets to hit what he wants. I'm shooting, hoping that he'll hit all the way through here and hits what he wants instead of trying to chase the balloons all the time and start missing them. At least that's what I was thinking was going to happen. So we're going to get another big chunk of stuff up in here. Now you can tell we're doing a bigger chunk of damage to this guy. And I feel like now we're going to be... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that go. I do still need a motor up for the balloons pretty darn soon. But I feel like this this uh, Moab Mauler action is actually doing, doing all right for me. Doing all right for me. Now, we didn't distract the uh, ceramics as well as we would like to. That's what's going to lead us to losing some lives here. But uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm all right with that. I still do need to get the frag cannons up for uh, each one of these guys, and the balloons are definitely going to be a huge problem for me in these upcoming levels. It's all I'm relying on is my ninja right now, which means I need to get something up. Here it is. Here's the toughy levels. I got to save my money. Save it up. Oh, yeah. Come on, distract me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. More. More bloods. You can't take me down. Ninja, go, go, go. Actually, Ninja just didn't do a good enough job there. He didn't do a good enough job. Should I go with another Ninja? Hmm, that actually might be not a bad idea. It's kind of expensive, though. What should I go for? I can go with a 3 0 cannon. I can go with a mortar. I can go with another ninja. I'm gonna go with the mortar first. I'm gonna go with the mortar first. I liked the mortar in the in the last level. It really did help out versus those big group balloons. Whereas I think the the ninjas just can't deal with those big groups of balloons. There we go. Got the Bernie stuff going on for thee. Also, the, the bigger blast might actually help a lot on this map, because you can get, like, twice the popping power out of your guys if you get the bigger blast. Also, I'm going to spam a lot of road spikes on this uh, first one here, just so I can get him out of the way, so uh, I can kind of space out where the guys have to attack them. Hoping that the second one does kind of the same thing. And we got the bigger blast going on in there. Come on, little ninja buddy. You can do it again. Come on, little ninja buddy. Little ninja buddy. And, I mean, it's going to be close this time. Closer than last time, that's for sure. Oh my god, we're down to nine lives. Four lives? I did not think we got hurt that bad. But we obviously did. We got hurt that bad, man. No good at all. No good at all. So obviously those ceramics are still a huge problem for me, man. They're a huge problem. So I'm going to put my ninja over here. I'm going to get up to a... Hopefully 4 2 ninja pretty darn soon. And I'm actually going to sell my farm as soon as I see any big problems. As soon as I see any like big chunk of Moabs come out or anything. Um, that's not a big enough chunk, though. That's not a problem chunk. I don't think that's a problem chunk, is it? No, it's not a problem chunk. No problem chunk seen yet. Let the Bernie stuff do their job. Again, the Bernie stuff is actually my biggest uh, group popping power right now. Oh my. Oh my, yes it is. There's lots of balloons coming in here, though. Lots of balloons coming in here. So I am actually going to sell my farm. Hopefully get a ninja up soon. Oh my god. Holy crap, that's a lot of balloons still. Come on, get that ninja up. Oh my goodness gracious, he's still not even on the next upgrade here. We only got four lives left. We really need to use our road spikes well here. 
And it looks like we don't even need to use any sets of road spikes, I don't think. The mortar was able to take care of most of those balloons. And now we have another Fortune Ninja in the back. Oh my goodness gracious. We just keep getting better and better, guys. But we still don't have very much Moab popping power. And if BFB pops out, oh my god, we're dead. We're dead, guys. There's nothing we can do. They're just going to kill us all. Kill us all. Let's get the frag cannon for this guy. We'll get another Moab Mauler up in the yong. There's a lot of Moabs coming out now. Now we got two Fortune Ninjas, though. That's a huge difference, guys. Huge difference in the amount of balloon popping power. Also, we got rainbows and leads and all this random junk coming out in here. I'm trying to get them popped up with this uh, this mortar, but it's still just crazy how many balloons are up in here. Crazy how many balloons are up in here. Uh, we did it. We survived again. We survived again, but down to 51 sets of road spikes. A lot better than we did the first time, and that's for sure. That is for sure. That is for sure. What am I going to do now, though? What am I going to do? This, we just can't just keep surviving like this by using ro billions of sets of road spikes. I need to get another cannon. Um, honestly, a 3-0 cannon in this spot right here might not be a bad idea to help out with those balloons. 3-2 cannon. Let's make it a 3-2. Now we're getting some damage in here. Oh, yeah, now we're doing damage. I love a 4-2 cannon over there. I'd love to get it. Also, if I can get a monkey village up, that would just be playing amazing. If I can get that before the 4-2 cannon, sweet titties, man. I just don't think it's going to happen because you know, we're going to need to get another Moab Mauler soon because we got BFBs popping out any time, any time now. Any time. But again, the balloons. We can't deal with the balloons with these current current things. I need a 4-2 cannon to deal with that BFB. I think I'm going to have to take the chances with the road spikes. So we need to get... Uh... Oh, guys, I'm freaking out right now. I am freaking out. we got to get the monkey village. All right, let's do it kind of like this. We're going to get the Monkey Village there. We're going to get this uh, nice little cannon right there. I'm also going to get another cannon over here from Moab Mauler Popping Power. And there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is, my friends. We're going to have to uh, go ch -ch 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 spam the road spikes on this guy with all the money that we have currently and let the Moabs get taken down by the Moab Maulers, which is what we need to do. Let the mortar do the job against the ceramics, and the 4-2 cannon will also help out quite a bit. Now, that is going to be crazy right here. If we can take these guys down, I'm going to be very, very happy with my uh, defense. Very, very tight, though. Very tight, to say the least. 4-2 cannon, obviously, fan-frickin-tastic. Fan-frickin-tastic. He's got a giant amount of explosion radius. That's that's the cool thing about him. So we're definitely going to need to get this Moab Muller up. We're going to get two more, actually. I'm going to keep them both on strong, obviously. Make sure everybody is on strong, because I tend to forget about that a lot. But this is way more intense, and it actually matters a lot more this time, compared to a lot of other times. And there's another BFB popping up, but I just can't use those road spikes like I did last time. I have to rely on my Moab Maulers to be amazing. Have to rely on them. At this time, it is in a better spot for us this time, because the BFB coming out on the outside is not good for us, but coming out on the inside is okay. Well, I mean, it comes out on the outside, then goes in on the inside. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So we got a nice little 4-2 cannon doing a good good chunk of damage to them all the way out there. So um, if we can stall them out there, that's awesome. And look at that. We are going to take them down, I think. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Barely, but we did it. <laughs> but we did it. Okay. What can I do now? Uh. I guess another one of these guys. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. There's a lot of balloons. There's a lot of everything, really. A lot of everything. I can't use ice towers. I mean, maybe glue gunners. Maybe I can use glue gunners. Use a 2-3 glue gunner. Glue them all over in this little vicinity right here. I guess I'm going to have to do that. They're so cheap. We got to do it kind of expensive still, but... Oh, I gotta move my mortar around too, guys. I gotta micro that mortar, or else I'm going to for sure lose. So we got that little blue splatter action. A little blue splatter action going on for us. And where do I put the mortar? I don't know. You guys could tell I was kind of confused by that. Anyways, we're almost up to that glue hose already, which makes me feel pretty good. I mean, zone Oh, this is the DDT level. Holy crap. I forgot about the... D oh, no! Double BFB! Oh, man, it's like a double rainbow in my face. Double rainbows. This guy worth any money? He is not worth any money. Holy crap, we need more glue. We need more glue. We need more glue. Glue, 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 glue. Come on. Yep, glue hose. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, glue. This is up to you, my friend. Glue. This is all up to you. We need you to glue the balloons. He did. He glued the balloons. He glued every single balloon in there. Now we need to stop them in their tracks, and we have stopped them in their tracks. Glue is just plain amazing right there. I can't believe they did that. Can't believe they did that. Now I have two ninjas here. They still, still don't have very much camera detection, though. Um, let's see, this is a DDT level, I need to start worrying about that, like, 
right now. So let's start getting this guy up. I need to get him up to 0, 3, and I'll start getting all of my Moab Maulers to try and be in the range of this guy right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I can deal with most of the BFBs now, now that I got that glue there. I saw two of them come at the same spot, and we still dealt with them fairly easily. Oh yeah, that glue is just a tremendous help, guys. Oh my god, I'll even get the jungle drums while I'm at it. Even get the jungle drums, and then I do need to I need to get some stuff up soon, because I don't even know when the these, those TTTs are going to come in. Any second, really. I'm hoping level 25 is when the first time I see any of those guys. That's what I'm hoping for. So I am also going to get... I don't know, I can't really afford the signal flare right now. I just got to be a little... Oh no, I don't even need the signal flare. I got the 0-3. I got to spend the money wisely, guys. Spend it wisely. So we got this guy over here. We're going to get another Moab Mauler. Let's see, is this guy in the range? He is not in the range. So we're going to have to go with a Moab Mauler over here. And another one in the range over here. In the range. Keep them all in the range, guys. Even these two are technically not in the range, which is not good. Every Moab Mauler counts, guys. Every Moab Mauler counts. I might even actually... You know what? I have to do it this way, guys. I have to do it this way. This is probably a weird way to do it, but... Oh, is this guy in the range? <gasps> He's not. We're going to have to sell him. Maybe this was a bad spot for a monkey village. I'm not even sure. we got to get all these guys up to 4-2. It's going to be the only way I'm going to defeat DDTs. And the only real problem with this is that DDTs... Three of them you can deal with them with these ninjas like that. But when you got like eight, eight nine of them coming at the same time, it's not going to be the same thing. It's not going to be the same thing at all. Alright. Well, we're taking these guys down. Do I sell this Moab Mauler? I think I should. And we'll build another ninja. What else could I possibly get that would help me out versus these DDTs? Um, well, there's his Oh My God already. Well, that's not a good sign. That's a terrible sign, because I was not expecting his Oh My God to come out. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't at all. I gotta save up for this guy. He's only a few more dollars. Hopefully he can deal with him. I mean, my ninjas, you got a lot of time to attack him on this side. It's just, are they gonna get glued in time? Is the 4-2 cannon gonna be a good enough job at, you know, stopping him while these guys deal with him? And we really need the Bernie stuff to do their job again. So there we go. We're down to BFBs already. That's that's a decent sign. It's a decent sign. Moabs are getting down here. The glue is gluing things. And it looks like we are going to take him down, I think. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty good. I mean, they're just they're flying all over the place. I don't even really know what the heck was happening, but it looked good to me. I'm counting it. What else could I possibly do, though, that would help me out? What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking about? I know I know you guys are probably thinking darling guns. I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no darling guns for me today. Oh, I guess another 4-2 cannon. Maybe even put it all the way over here. Oh, man, that would be kind of a good idea. Yeah, why not? The reason why I'm going to put him over here is because he can attack a lot of range. He can actually get all the way up here. Look at that. Look at that range. Ridiculous, man. And then once it's up to 4-2, he can stop a lot of those camos that are like le leaking all the way down here and maybe even allow me to use my 27th test road spikes. Who knows? As long as we have a little bit of extra time. The DDDs are going to start popping out out of the woodwork. Out of the woodwork, guys. And now we got a Zomagad coming down on the... Technically the better side for us, as long as my Moab Maulers are going to keep on attacking it the right way. A lot of Zomagads really early. I can only expect this to get even way more ridiculous. And I don't... I'm not going to build any farms either. I'm going to stay away from the farms completely. Should have used my Bernie stuff a little bit better. But it's alright. It's aight. No big dealio. Except for the fact that we're starting off with another Zoma God. I could just imagine two Zoma Gods coming out on different places at the same time. I could definitely see that happening to me. It'd be terrible. It'd be terrible. Just not even fair. Can I keep on uh, microwing just a little bit? In fact, I'm. Oh my god, this is redonkulous, my friends. This is redonkulous. I gotta move these guys to first for a few seconds. Which, all the way, there's two of them not on first. Gotta get them. Gotta get these guys done. They are glued again. They are glued. Redonkulous again, but it looks like we are going to succeed. I believe so. 4-2 Cannon is obviously my best friend right now. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. Oh, snapper doodle. And we took him to <laughs> Level 26 and still have not been defeated. And I am very, very surprised that we haven't been defeated. Because there's been so many mobs coming out in here. 
what else do I need to get? Explosions are always a good way to go, so, uh, for balloons. I don't have any more cannons, though. I gotta keep everything in the range here. That's my main problem. Suppose I could put this guy in the range. Get that guy in the range. Now we got a little bit more extra popping power in there. <sighs> Make sure all my Moab models are up to par. Put them back on strong. I had a lot of them on first. Oh crap, here they are. Here they are, the first set of DDTs, and they came out different ways. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right here? No! I hate you, game! I hate you! Why? Why? That's not even fair, man. That is not even fair. Alright. Well, that's gonna be the end for today. <sighs> that's very depressing. I thought I could handle it. I didn't think the DD, three DTs were going to be that bad. Maybe I need to move my monkey dealers a little bit. Maybe uh, make him a little bit better. Maybe build two of them. Who knows? But uh, that, anyway, that is all I'm going to have for you guys today. So as always, thanks for watching. And uh, have, a day, have, a, have a nice day. Because, yeah. Just have a nice day. Bye.